The Marion Hill missionaries were preoccupied with vocations for the missions. The property in Brighton, Michigan seemed the proper place to start a minor seminary. In 1936, Father Joseph Reiner added a small addition to the existing building. Father Edelhart's Francois arrived from Europe in 1937 to teach there. On September 1, 1937, school began. Father Edelhart was the rector and only teacher for about eight boys. Unexpectedly, an invitation arrived from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Bishop Bernard Mahoney made available to Marion Hill the possibility of starting a seminary in his diocese to educate secular priests as well as Marion Hill religious. The defunct Columbus College buildings built in 1920 and the campus were offered to us. An agreement was made by which Marion Hill consented to begin a seminary in the college with the option of purchasing the property if the seminary should prove successful. That same year, 1937, Fathers Guido Giorna and Edelhard Hummel arrived from Europe to be on the faculty of the seminary. Then came Father Florian Rauch and Father Emram Riedelsheimer and Brother Ladislas Chernia. On the Feast of the Annunciation in 1938, the seminary started in Sioux Falls. It was named St. Bernard's Seminary in honor of Bishop Bernard Mahoney. New confreres arrived from overseas to complete the staff. Father Adolf Schmidt, Father Reinhold Hubert, Father Egbert Heinlein, Father Albero Adam Amrein, Father Elquin Weisform, Father Joachim Hoffman, and Father Berkmans Hoffman. Also arriving that year was Father Paul Kiotek for Brighton, Father Anthony Kirshner for Dearborn, and Brother Rodriguez Weiler for the Office of Printed Publications. Here is a community picture at St. Bernard's in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. From left to right, Father Joachim, Father Adam, Father Reinald, Father Edelhart, Father Guido, Father Egbert, and Father Elquin. In 1943, Marion Hill was prepared to purchase the property in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Unfortunately, the U.S. government needed that property for a veterans' hospital. The new bishop, Bishop Brady, had already agreed to sell it to them, and the government wanted immediate occupancy. So Marion Hill was compelled to end the school year at the Christmas holiday and dismiss the students, except six, who agreed to remain enrolled and continue their studies wherever the seminary would be relocated. The seminary was transferred to St. Benedict's Farm in Brighton, Michigan. In January 1944, school resumed for six students, Timothy Mock, Lawrence Heyer, Charles Duman, Godfrey Raffle, and David Mock with Father Berkman's. Father Adolf Schmidt was rector. Father Edelhard Hommel took over from 1947 to 1949. In 1948, the construction of a new minor seminary, St. Bernard's Seminary, began in Dearborn Township, Michigan. In September 1949, school started in the new building. Father Egbert Heinlein was rector. The students from the minor seminary in Brighton joined St. Bernard's in Dearborn Township. In 1956, Father Berkman's Hoffman became rector. In 1960, Father Reinhold Schmidt took over as rector, and he was followed by Father Timothy Mock in 1963. Father Reinhold Schmidt became rector again between 1967 to 1968. Other staff members included Father Joachim Hoffman, and later Father Francis Clare, Father Lawrence Heyer, Father David Mock, Father Godfrey Raffle, Father Thomas Heyer, and a few others throughout the years.